We all like going somewhere to know new places, new people, or just to relax. But being a tourist not always means nice impressions. When you visit different countries, you may come across some animals and plants that are unfamiliar to you, and not always very friendly. There are a lot of unpleasant and sometimes tragic cases with people that were not careful enough to deal with wildlife. Today, we want to tell you about the most popular traveling destinations and fauna that can cause you serious problems. Be ready to know a lot of useful and interesting facts. The Nightmare for California Tourists When you come to California, all you can think of is sunshine, sandy beaches, and having fun. But going along numerous tourist paths, you can see the sign with the following note. Beware! Rattlesnakes! There are 10 species of rattlesnakes living in California. And almost every tourist can once hear hissing or the sound of the rattle nearby. Every year, there are about 300 bites of rattlesnakes on record. Fortunately, rattlesnakes are not aggressive. Most of the attacks happen when the reptiles get under feet or are accidentally touched. These reptiles have thick bodies, triangle heads widening near the neck. And, of course, they have one or several rattles on their tails. But remember, very young snakes can be without them. So, the best advice is just avoiding any snake, even it seems to you harmless. What should you if the snake has bitten you? Firstly, call 911 immediately. But if it isn't possible, try to stay still for some time, preventing venom spread over your body. Let the place of bite bleed about 30 seconds, and only after that, wipe it with a tissue. Then go slow to the place where you can get medical help. If it is a leg or an arm, don't raise it. Place it below your heart. Unpleasant meeting in Arizona What places do come to your mind when you hear the word Arizona? The Grand Canyon, of course! Here you can have unforgettable time, watching all the beauties of the place, floating on the Colorado River in boats and rafts and many other cool things. Despite being one of the most famous and most visited attractions in the United States, Grand Canyon still holds some surprises for unaware tourists. And one of them is scorpions. There are several species of this arachnid, but Centroroides exilicata is found over much of Arizona, and in the Grand Canyon, in particular. As many other animals, scorpions only attack to protect themselves. So, they aren't after you, anyway. To prevent getting stung by this scorpion, it's better to know where their favorite hangouts are and avoid these places. The venom of Centroroides exilicata may produce severe pain and swelling at the site of the sting, difficulties in breathing, muscle twitching, and convulsions. But a normal, healthy adult is more likely to just get twitching and pain from the sting. If you are stung, be smart and just don't panic. As specialists say, it's helpful to take antihistamine and cool the site of the sting to slow the process of the venom, not letting it get to your heart. Spoiled Vacation on Florida Beaches Apart from endless beaches and boundless summer at the Atlantic Ocean coasts, there are several unpleasant things that are waiting for you in sunny Florida. And one of them is so-called the Portuguese Man o' War. Pretty blue balloons with nasty stinging tentacles wash up on South Florida's beaches with the arrival of Portuguese man-of-war season. They bring great troubles for people, especially for tourists, who usually know nothing about these animals and sometimes step on them. Looking like a jellyfish, these bizarre things group together in hundreds or even thousands of genetically identical individual creatures because they can't live separately. Their tentacles are very long, normally around 30 feet. And the creatures use venom-spewing cells to deliver painful, neurotoxic stings. When a tentacle is detached from the rest of the colony, 
it might wash ashore somewhere or drift around for days on end until it decomposes. But be aware, even severed tentacle can sting you. Lifeguards typically provide pain medication at the scene, but the danger comes if a victim has an allergic reaction. The Unexpected Enemy in Canada You know that Canada has a severe but incredibly beautiful nature. You can find numerous places to visit – mountains, lakes, forests. And the country by no means has gorgeous wildlife that sometimes can be rather scary. But not grizzlies and wolves are the main fear in Canada. The animal that brings a lot of trouble in the woods of Canada is a moose. This creature is huge, and they have a stubborn attitude of ownership. When attacking, moose often kick forward with front feet, knocking down the offender and then stomping and kicking with all four feet. If it has antlers, the acquaintance can become fatal. So, if you meet a moose, give it a lot of space. Don't approach. If you see a calf and cow, go away as fast as you can. Remember, when a moose approaches you, it is not trying to be your friend. Climb a tree if it is possible. Unlike with a bear or a cougar, you can run from a moose. It will help to avoid attack. The moose likely won't chase you very far. A Threatening Giant in India Visiting different resorts of India, Goa, Mumbai or Kerala, you are sure to meet elephants. But don't think these huge animals are always gentle. They are, until they got angry. Especially wild ones. Wild Indian elephants stray into farms and human settlements because of habitat loss. They come to the people's places, looking for food and destroying all crops in their way. According to statistics, more than 100 people were fatally injured during elephant attacks. But it doesn't matter. Whether you are attacked by captive elephants or wild ones, it is likely to be a disaster. Ooh. The Patron had me gone. Man, I gotta commit. I gotta slow down on that peanut butter. And the best you can do is to escape from dealing with them. On meeting the elephant, first, pay attention to the ears. If they are relaxed or fanned out, the elephant probably has no intention of attacking. But if its ears are pinned back and the trunk is curved inwardly, beware. If you cannot hide away, you should make a lot of noise. They really don't like it and may try to leave. Oh, God. Oh! And the last important thing, elephants and negative emotions can run 25 miles per hour. So climb a tree if there is one you won't be able to run away from the beast anyway. A Toxic Beauty in Colombia If you are crazy about jungles and dream of traveling along numerous tourist trails and rainforests, you should visit Colombia. But be very careful. One of the most popular tourist destinations is Valle de Cauca. Here you can meet a golden poison dart frog. Its poison, called Batraca toxin, is so potent that one frog can stop a happy living of 10 grown men. There are two huge problems about this frog. First, the amphibia can grow up about 2 inches long and is not bigger than a paper clip. The second one is that its poison glands are located beneath its skin. It means that just touch will cause you trouble. The only way to avoid it is to be very attentive and try not to contact with little brightly colored things. A slithering fear in Hong Kong Hong Kong is best known for being one of the world's metropolises. There are even more skyscrapers than anywhere else. 
But this city is also a very cool natural touristic place, covered with 24 parks having a variety of wildlife. Besides, Hong Kong city parks are the home for 54 snake species and 8 of them are venomous. The queen among them is Chinese Cobra. And being attacked by this snake is not something you want to experience. Generally black or brown in color, Chinese Cobra may be fatally mistaken for a rat snake, which is not venomous. But Cobra won't attack if it is not frightened. In most cases, it will prefer to go away. But if the snake feels cornered, it may attack. From the impressive distance, reacting very fast. The best behavior with this snake is never getting close to it. Australian Eden full of invisible enemies. Australian coasts are covered by ideal sandy beaches that any tourist can dream about. Queensland White Sand Resort, Gold Coast, and Byron Bay Ideal surfing are among the most popular destinations. But here you shouldn't be too relaxed. In waters washing these coasts live transparent, almost invisible invertebrates, which are considered by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration as the most venomous marine animal in the world. They are called box jellyfish. Their name comes from the cubic frames that have up to 15 tentacles at the corners. Each of them can grow up to 10 feet long. These tentacles are all lined with thousands of stinging cells known as nematocysts. They contain toxins that simultaneously attack the heart, nervous system, and skin cells. While antivenins do exist, the venom is so potent that human victims have no time to get to the shore. The main problem with these things, it is almost invisible. Australian residents invented the way to protect people from this danger. The point is that box jellyfish sting only live objects. So, they use special nylon wetsuits to protect themselves. Besides, during the box jellyfish season, lifeguards just don't let people come into the seawater. There are uh, several swimming pools on the shore. Just don't ignore the prohibition and everything would be okay. Cone Snail 10 million visitors came to Hawaii in 2018. Hawaii's tropical climate, relaxed Pacific Island atmosphere and massive volcanic mountaintops makes this state so special. But beautiful waters with coral reefs are not so idyllic. There is both very creepy and gorgeous thing, which can be found in the warm waters near Hawaii coastline. Cone snails, which are recognizable for their highly prized brown and white marbled shells, are the thing you should worry about. You can see them in shallow depths closer to shore, near coral reefs and rock formations, and beneath sandy shoals. Their hidden harpoon-like teeth contain a complex venom known as conotoxin. The toxin stops nerve cells from communicating with one another, causing paralysis within moments. And the most unpleasant thing, there is no anti-venom. So, the main advice, don't ever touch these beautiful 4 to 6 inch long snails. And if touched, head to the emergency room immediately. Every second matters. A nice and clumsy African terror. African countries nowadays are very popular tourist places, and Kenya is one of the most visited of them, as its name is almost completely associated with safari. There are a lot of national reserves and parks, where you can see exotic animals in their natural habitat. But not lions, hyenas, snakes are the most severe creatures in this region. Chubby, round hippopotamus with their adorable little necks and tummies are the craziest and unpredictable animals in Africa. They have large teeth and tusks that they use for fighting off threats, including humans. Hippos are remarkably agile and aggressive. They occasionally can fatally injure impala, kudu, and buffalo. Sadly, tourists often mistake hippos' repeated yawn and sound like a laugh for being happy and content. 
but these are threat signs. To be on the safe side, don't visit hippos' habitats in very hot days. When drought comes, they can hide in the greens. Never stand between a hippo and a water body. It jealously guards its water resources. If the animal has attacked you, go up the tree and never go down until hippo left the place. We hope our tips will help to make your traveling more comfortable and safer. Forewarned is forearmed, you know. Let us know in the comments, which advice was the most useful for you? See you!